So today we're going to look at how to lock cells, ranges, or entire tabs or a sheet in your Google Sheets. So first off, let's look at how to get to our sheet or range protection in Google Sheets. So we can do it three ways. One is right clicking, view more cell actions and protect range. And then you'll see our sidebar on the right. There's no current protections listed. And so the only option is add a sheet or range. So let's look at the next way to do this is from a tab. And here we can do protect sheet and then it immediately populates with the protecting sheet already up. Finally, you can go to data, protect sheet and ranges, and then it will show you all the protection currently on your spreadsheet. So from here, let's go ahead and start by protecting a range. So it automatically selected our selected cell right here. So you can change this, you can change this to an entire column simply by doing that. Or you can go through and protect different cells individually. However, it does not give you an option to set, for example, B3 and F4 and so forth. So you do have to do those individually. You're going to do multiple ranges. Another thing to note is you can enter a description here up top. So we can do single cell protection and B3. Then we have two options here. We'll start with show warning and then in a couple minutes we'll go through on this restriction and how that works. So let's just start with showing a warning. Done. And now you can see our protection is right there with our name, the range that's being protected, and the can edit with warnings. And so we try to edit this, it's going to give us a warning. One thing to note is we hit OK, it will allow the edit. If we hit cancel, it will not accept the edit that we just tried to make. One thing to note as well is that you can do this do not show again. So if you have some sheets protected or ranges protected to prevent them from accidentally being edited, but you're going through and making some changes on that, you can go ahead and click this don't show again for five minutes and it'll allow you to make changes, multiple changes without having to see this dialog every time you make a change on a cell. So we're going to hit cancel for now. So this works the same way. If we protect the whole sheet, protect the sheet, show a warning. And now the same thing applies across the entire sheet. And again, I didn't show you, explain this to you, but to delete a protected sheet or a range, uh, click on it and then hit the trash can icon will ask you if you're sure and then it'll also ask you for permission so you cannot remove this if you do not have permission and so we'll go through that now so the other part you can do here and you can do this on a range or a sheet level is you can do specific users that have access or do not have access so in this case this is different than showing a warning because in this case if you have editing access is not going to give you a warning. So for example, in this one, if you're the spreadsheet owner, it will give you this option. If you're not, it will say only you and the spreadsheet owner here. If you're not the owner of the spreadsheet, you cannot lock them from editing their own sheet. You can also do custom options and you can add specific people. And so this is great if you have managers that you want to be able to edit certain tabs, but maybe not other users. So in this one, we can just do only you hit done. And now one thing to note is I can edit without any warning because I have access to edit. So we'll go ahead and delete this one. And let's go ahead and show the other option we have here within the sheet is we can do accept certain cells. So we can put, for example, here B3. Maybe we could do D3. Hit permissions. Let's just do show a warning so you can see this. It gives us that option there. We didn't name this. You don't have to name this, but this may be helpful if you have multiple protections to know what it's for. So this one, except B3 or C3. So if we hit down here, it gives us a warning. Up here, it does not. One thing here as well, you can do entire column. 
And so now I can edit this column. If I try to edit this column, it's going to give me an error. So, actually, let's change it here. You can also do this with this custom restriction. And so you can allow people access to certain columns of data and not others. Perhaps certain ones are sensitive and they are never going to change. And so you can lock them down um, from being edited and then keeps that data from being changed or deleted. And finally, you can remove people as well from here when you're adding the protection. Perhaps multiple people already had access and then you can delete them here simply by unchecking. One thing to note as well is, and I can't really demonstrate this at the moment because I have edited access, but if you protect an entire sheet, and so let's just go ahead and get this part out. If you protect an entire sheet and then you hide it, and we can't hide this one because it's the only one, but if you hide a protected sheet, people who do not have access to edit it cannot view it. And so like, for example, here we have a hidden tab. If you did not have editing access, if it was protected, and you did not a uh, user on that access, you would not be able to view that hidden sheet. So that's just something to keep in mind if you have some sensitive data, you can keep it protected in that way. And then another thing to keep in mind is protection only applies to the tab that you added it to. So if you have multiple tabs that you want to protect, you will have to set that protection on each tab in the same way that the range, you would have to set it on each range. And you can do a consistent set we can't do scattered. So for example, in here, we could do column B. And do that warnings. Let's go ahead and remove this one. So we can set this column. We could set it to multiple columns. But we can't skip a column and then add E. And so we'd have to do that separately. All right, I think that wraps up how to lock cells, ranges, and tabs in Google Sheets. Tune back again soon for more tutorials.